Alex Honnold has been renowned as one of, if not the best, free solo climber in the world. He has climbed multiple mountain faces without the use of any safety equipment over the years, living in his van for over a decade just so that he can pursue his passion for climbing every day. His free solos have stunned millions worldwide. So which free solo climbs could qualify as Alex Honnold's top 5 climbs of all time? Let's take a look. For number 5, we have Alex's climb of El Sendero Luminoso, translated to the Shining Path, and is located in El Potrero Chico in Mexico. The total climbing distance is around 1,750 feet with 15 pitches, and the total height of the climb of the El Toro Mountain is a shocking 2,500 feet. After practicing with ropes, in 2014, Alex ascended the 512D ranked route in slightly over 3 hours, without any safety equipment, just him and the chalk. Just by looking at this huge distance below Alex here, anyone can tell how impressive this achievement is and he was the first to climb this route free solo. Next at number 4 we have Alex's free solo of the Moonlight Buttress in Zion, Utah. This route goes up a very high 1200 feet or 365 meters with 10 pitches. This was one of Alex's earlier noted free solos, having achieved this goal in 2008. The Moonlight Buttress is one of the longest and hardest sandstone climbs in the world and had an original difficulty rating of 513D but has since been downgraded to a still difficult 512D. Alex made the free solo ascent in an astonishing 1 hour and 23 minutes. He said that the grade of the climb doesn't really reflect the climb's difficulty and that it is pure endurance and a matter of having the fitness for a general sustained pump. However, I do think that it also takes an extremely high fear tolerance also to finish this climb without a rope. Now the next climb is sort of a double, but both routes are located in the same area in Yosemite, California. In 2007, Honnold soloed Astroman and the Rostrum in a single day which made him one of the first people to do it after Peter Croft's 1987 achievement. Both climbs have a rating of 511C and Astroman has 10 pitches and the Rostrum 8 pitches. Both climbs are in the range of 1000 feet, meaning there would be pretty much no chance of survival if he were to fall, but of course Alex made it up the two climbs incredibly, and this was one of his first achievements to put his name in the history books of free soloing, however the next climb really put his name out there. The number 2 spot goes to Alex's free solo of the regular northwest face of Half Dome, also in Yosemite, California. This rock face has 22 pitches and a 512 rating in terms of difficulty, with over 2000 feet and being the first free solo of the northwest face, at the time in 2008 it was probably the greatest free solo. Alex has stated that he actually looks back at the experience as not as enjoyable as most of his other climbs. He says that he didn't try the climb out much with ropes and that he would just figure it out on the way up while free soloing. This led to some feelings of fear and uncertainty while heading up. Obviously he made it up safely but he does say that he kind of got away with that climb. Either way, Honnold's half dome climb is regarded as one of his best free solos and one of the best free solos ever conquered to date. For number 1, and for some of you you would have seen this coming, but it's of course Alex Honnold's climb of El Capitan in Yosemite, California. On June 3rd, 2017, after years of practicing the route, he scaled the 2900 foot or just under 900 meter mountain face completely free solo in just under 4 hours. This feat was described as one of the greatest athletic feats of any kind ever and remains arguably the most difficult free solo ever conquered in history. The small downward cracks, narrow handholds and sheer length make the route one of the hardest. The climb was documented by climber and photographer Jimmy Chin and documentary filmmaker Elizabeth Vassarhelyi to create the documentary Free Solo which went on to win the 2018 Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature. No one else in history has climbed El Capitan without equipment to this day, making Alex Honnold the only one to make this accomplishment ever. If he were to fall while climbing up here, it would be a whole 10 seconds before hitting the ground. Now I showed this in another video, but I want to note again that an MRI scan of Alex's brain showed that his amygdala, the brain center of fear and threat response, has much less activity shown than a normal subject's brain. This could be as a result of Alex's extreme climbs numbing his fear response in some way, or he could just naturally have less fear than the average individual. His mother has said that he was always a risk taker from a young age, however I think that both of these would factor into his fear tolerance in some way. Either way, Alex is clearly not an average human and is one of the greatest athletes to walk, or in this case climb, the earth. Thank you for watching as always and I hope you enjoyed another free solo list and check out my 4 greatest free solos videos for more content like this and remember to like and subscribe for more videos to come and I'll see you on the next one.